For a long time at Salt Lake Community College, we've worked to give students opportunities to take classes uh, where they learn a lot of facts and figures. But what employers tell us they want are students that know how to communicate and know how to work in teams. Uh, they want students that know how to um, acquire information and apply that to solving specific problems that the employers have set out as important for their businesses uh, and in the places where they're working. The kinds of skills that, that students need to communicate their research, they could already have leaving Salt Lake Community College. The research symposium is an excellent way to ground their communication skills, to get a head start on how to communicate the things that they're, they're doing to other people. Uh, I think that we could provide students to the University of Utah or any of the other schools that they could choose to go to ready to sell themselves, to uh, describe uh, their efforts and what they do. Uh, so I think uh, communication is a big deal and, and having some experience, having some research experience. Uh, I try and enter students that are doing something no one's ever done. Things that uh, are not just show and tell but are literally an answering interesting, if not subtle, but interesting questions that no one's ever asked. And they can present how they did that, they can understand something about uh, physics or astronomy that, that, they've, that uh, uh, maybe they've never thought through. So that's the huge benefit of the symposium, Give them, giving them that, that professional conference feel here at the community college. Three years ago, the college was funded by the legislature to build an electrical engineering technology program. And the goal was to meet the needs of the local employers for people with two-year degrees that could make things work. Whether you're making in a, a bread factory or, a, or something like IM Flash that makes semiconductors, you need people that can make your equipment work so you can make your product. And so there's a lot of that that happens in Salt Lake. It's very hard to train for that. I, I, you can train a dog, but you can't educate one. So I sort of say, I, I sort of, we are not in the training business. We're in the education business. For instance, uh, a recent employee was hired by IM Flash. Okay, now he had studied electronics. He knew all about transistors and all that. But this was the question they asked. They said, suppose you have three candles that will burn for an hour. They're made to burn for an hour. How do you measure an hour and 45 minutes? This was in his job interview, right? They, were, they asked him this cold. Can you figure this out while we're staring at you, right? So he said, well, let's see. Light the first candle. When it's done, that's an hour. So when the first candle's done, light the second candle, but light it on both ends. That'll be a half hour. He says, now I've got an hour and a half, so let's see. So after the second candle when you light the, first, the second candle, light the third candle on one end. So now you've got the second candle burning to the middle and the, first can, uh, the third candle burning from the end. When the second candle's gone, the third candle is burned halfway down, then light the other end. And that'll be 15 minutes. So it's an hour and a half hour and 15 minutes. You can't train that. You've got to educate it. That takes smart. That's what we're trying to do. Educate the people. And the employers, in my opinion, they love it. The qualities that uh, employers want from graduates from Salt Lake Community College, it's probably five points that I'd, I'd like to talk about. The f first one is they basically, in the sciences, want a good basic understanding of science, how it works, that includes the math skills um, and their particular area of expertise, whether it be chemistry or a particular type of engineering or biology. The second thing, that they want, most importantly, is problem solvers. People who can solve problems, because that's what happens in the real world. Murphy's Law operates, things happen, problems need to be solved, new things need to be done. The third thing they need is good communicators, and that's why I'm doing this uh, interview today, because this is the STEM symposium from the uh, School of Science, Math and Engineering here at Salt Lake Community College. And this is an opportunity, the subtitle for the, our symposium is a forum for students to explain their world. And so students and scientists need to be able to explain to groups one-on-one -on -one, to different audiences at different levels, scientific ideas and problems that they're solving, what's, what's going on. 
and that's what the symposium provides for them. The next one is teamwork. In fact, in the real world, it's not everybody sitting there in a final exam on your own, but everybody works in teams. And the work we do in the sciences encourages teamwork, and the symposium in particular has sections where there are teams reporting on uh, the work that the, they have done. And then the last one that employers want is reliability. And the proof of reliability is they actually want graduates because if you graduate from a degree, and it doesn't matter what the degree's in, it shows that you've stuck it out and you've achieved those aims and goals. And they're the five sorts of things that the employers want. And the symposium is to enable students to, in fact, demonstrate all of those uh, things, perhaps.